Justice Ayokole Faji of Federal High Court in Lagos has ordered Mrs. Martha Ude, the mother of 19-year-old nine Chinoso Ude, to appear in court on November 1st, 2024. Ude, an aspiring printer, was arraigned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on the charges of cybercrime to which he pleaded guilty. ESCC operatives Abdurrahman Mohammed testified that Ude was arrested in a sting operation in Lagos following surveillance of a suspected cybercrime ring where in this in in criminal litting evidence was found on his iPhone XR. During court proceedings, Ude stated that the residents with uh, church members, he resided with the church members and his mother la lives in Onicha, Anambra State, noting the lack of family present justice for the question, the circumstances and mandated that Ude's mother appear in court. The judge also instructed the EFCC to provide food for Ude during his remand and required both Ude and his mother to bring identification document to the next hearing. The alleged offense impersonating a white man on Instagram for financial grant violated cybercrime prohibition act 2015. The case was adjourned to November 1, 2024. All right, uh, this is from Lagos State, Dr. Okochi. Uh, yes. This is one of the few times that we have seen uh, teenagers or people involving in cyber crimes uh, been, uh, that are uh, uh, arrested and they invite their family members to come with uh, some documents and order for evidence, of course. Uh, do you think that, uh, because this is more like a new development, do you think that this is uh, a, a very good one, that uh, when people involving in this are being arrested, that they should invite their parents, you should begin to invite their loved ones. Uh, maybe by the time they think that if I'm being arrested, if I'm being apprehended, my loved ones will be included in this matter and then i should just abstain from it what is your take on this issue thank you Emma. Uh, i'm happy for this kind of narrative this kind of pencil you see uh, my 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 thinking an analyst is that this war uh, Today is a 19 year old, so he's still a teenager. Okay. He's in court. Um, he's in court, arrested at the EFCC. And the judge is looking at a young man and is wondering, no family here. So the judge, being an expert in criminal issues, is, is making a connection. He's, he's thinking uh, for a teenager to, to have got this far. To be in EFCC net and then no family member here, then it will be he has been let alone by the family and he didn't have direction of morality and therefore he has fallen into this heavy crime. So the, the, the judge is, is taking the shine from the cases, from the criminal cases, to as, uh, as an advocate of family life. That is what this is for. In fact, I was happy when I read this. That at least we still have Nigerians who still have family roots and value family, uh, family connectivity. If this, as one case, is extrapolated to other cases and push back the trend, this criminal trend, back to families and power families. Encourage families and make families the foundation of our moral upbringing. We will cut criminal to my heart. Oh, okay, Dr. Okochi, uh, it is quite understood. I, will, I understand your explanation, but. 
There are many other times that people involving in cyber crimes have been apprehended, and even though the case is in court, the family people are not being invited to come. This is uh, a case where the mother was specifically ordered to come to the court. So, what do you think about that? Because when you were saying yeah. it's 19 years, yeah, we, are, we also have yeah. a case yeah. where yeah. they're even younger than this. Yes, that's why I said the judge has taken the shine from, he's taking the highlight from the case itself to himself as a signal for the family. What that means is, and that's why I was saying that, if others can take a cue from this, let us popularize family connectivity as a means of cutting down on crime. Others may have not highlighted family values, family connectivity, the, the nexus between criminality and the family. Others may not have done it. But this judge has started something not there, which others, I'm saying, others should copy. It will help this country and cut criminality at least by heart. Uh, Dr. Okochi, now that it has gotten to an extent where teenagers are now involved in cyber crimes, what do you think is the way forward that uh, they, uh, maybe not just the government, the security agencies can come up with to be able to cop this? I remember that there is something on social media that if you are not up to a certain age, you are not allowed to have a page or even Facebook account. So, I mean, account on social media, be it any of those platforms. But now that it has gotten to an extent that even at this age, they, 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 they know how to dupe from people. What should be done to be able to arrest this right on time? Well, um, cyber crime is not even a hidden as murder. And we have seen where 16-year-old, 15-year-old even murder. We, we should be looking at a comprehensive approach to, to, to reorientation in Nigeria. And uh, so we don't do it selectively. All the is 19. And by the policies of most social media uh, outfits, or organizations, 18, 16 is all right. If 19 is already qualified, so that's not even my worry. My worry is why are we not go to crime? I have said this before, I have repeatedly said it, Nigeria is not set for the young people. Today we are hearing, you will also talk about those things. Today we are hearing how the hardship in the country is driving people to self-help schemes. People are beginning to hook up schemes for self-help. That is the problem. It is a major problem. This country is not set to take care of the future of the young ones. People are just taking care of themselves because God is not there. What we have is not governance. We simply have government officials, but there's no governance. You, you are in journalism and you are in business. So that's something I will tell you. The world knows that we don't have governance, and people are just doing it on their own. It is like what happened in Israel. There was a time in Israel where anybody did what was, what was right in the person's eyes because there was no governance. All we need is to return governance to government. What we have is government. We don't have one. We need to return governance to government, and Nigeria will do well.